like a city in nature, where nature is restored into our urban environment and brought closer to our everyday lives. For years, we have already been extending greenery skywards through the greening of building facades, sky terraces and roof spaces. Today, as we walk through our streets, we see different types of buildings draped with greenery. When purposefully designed, Skyrise Greenery can contribute towards climate, ecological and social resilience. At the same time, as we move towards becoming a more sustainable city, Singapore has also increased the adoption of renewable energy such as solar energy. Can we balance both our need for more green spaces and solar energy? Greenery remains integral in our built environment. It improves our ecosystem capacity to adapt to climate change, creates habitats for biodiversity and also enhances our mental and physical health. NParks adopts a science-based approach in the application of greenery on buildings and we are constantly innovating and pushing the boundaries of greening the built environment. How can we validate and prove the benefits of integration of greenery with solar panels? To find out more, I'll be meeting Dr. Stephen Tay, who will share more about co-location of green roofs with solar panels in Singapore. So this co-located system consisting of both the green roof and the solar PV system is a collaboration project with both national parks and also BCA. And we've collected data for a period of about one year. In this project, what we did was to compare several setups. First, the control where we have the greenery layer without the solar PV modules. We also have another control where we have the solar PV modules without the greenery layer. And third, we have the co-located system. There's both elements, the greenery layer and the solar PV modules. We are looking at first how the greenery layer functions. And for the second objective, we looked at how the electricity generation of the module is affected by the presence of the greenery layer. And third, how the amount of heat that passes through such a system into the space beneath the roof is actually affected by the presence of such a co-located system. In the context of Singapore, we are actually quite unique in the sense that the weather is generally warmer. There's also high humidity. The sun path is also quite different. And hence, there is actually a strong need to conduct such a study in the context of Singapore so that the outcomes could potentially inform building owners, uh, agencies to make uh, informed decisions. We chose plants that are drought tolerant and also shade loving. And the result turns out to be quite positive, which is encouraging. In addition to that, we also observe 75% horizontal area coverage across the five plant species, which does indicate successful plant growth. Furthermore, we observe the presence of insects, bees as an example. And this is actually quite helpful because bees can function as pollinators. They help to increase the biodiversity of such a system and also establish ecosystems in the urban areas as well. Studies have shown that green roofs are able to reduce surface and ambient temperatures of the roof. Since solar panels absorb heat from the sun in the process of generating solar electricity and this heat reduces their efficiency, does coupling them together create a win-win situation for green roofs and solar panels? Yes, for example, in the greenery aspect, we do see successful plant growth and because of the evapotranspiration effect from the greenery layer, we do see an increase in the performance ratio of about 1.3%. Now, if we extrapolate this benefit of 1.3% uh, increase in performance ratio across either, let's say, a nation, district or a city, the effects can be significant. When we look at a cold located system, not only do they cool the uh, outdoor ambient air temperatures, but it also actually helps to reduce the amount of heat okay, from the external environment into the building. So for example, for the room spaces, specifically the ceiling temperature, beneath a co-located system, what we've observed is that the ceiling temperature is lower and also more stable when we compare that with another ceiling temperature that's not exposed to the co-located system for both the night and the day. Now going beyond that, when we look at various weather conditions, we see the same trends as well. When we look at other building types, whether it's government housing or industrial buildings, the solar panels, they tend to have a higher elevation height. What happens is that there's an increased sunlight that enters the greenery layer. So building owners can consider retrofitting the solar PV systems that they currently have with a greenery layer. For some of the building owners, uh, they do consider the roof loading to circumvent or overcome this limitation. We employed a lightweight substrate for the greenery. When we embarked on this project, we chose plants that were low growing and we adopted an automatic irrigation system. So there was quite minimal maintenance for this project. 
I also like to add that for buildings that have a higher PV elevation height, they may explore other forms and varieties of plants in their co-located system. The study we have just seen shows that co-location brings about wider benefits and will support greater adoption of solar green roofs in Singapore. Not only can solar green roofs optimise our roof space in Singapore by introducing more greenery into our built environment, it can also increase solar efficiency and reduce heat transfer into the building. Earlier studies have shown that green roofs create habitats and enhances biodiversity in an urban environment. With all these benefits, imagine if we can scale this up and have solar panels nestled in a sea of green roofs all across the island. By encouraging more green roofs and integrating nature into the urban environment, we can achieve climate, ecological and social resilience and transform Singapore into a city in nature. If green roofs can be integrated with solar panels to achieve synergy and bring about more sustainable Singapore, why not add a touch of green?